Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Uh, it's time for me to remodel my daughter's bedroom. Uh, you know, when she was five, the pink and the rainbows and all that stuff was perfect. She loved it. Uh, she's getting bigger now. Um, you know, things like this uh, Swedish made bed here. Uh, she's just too big for it. So we're going to get that out of here. We're going to build a new bed for her. Uh, I'm going to build a, uh, like a fold out desk for her. Um, you know, that'll go against this wall over here. And then back here, she loves to read. So we're going to build a, uh, like a reading nook with like a hanging hammock chair. Uh, you know, put some lights and stuff back there. Then her closet is just, uh, it's too small. It's really unusable as a closet. So I'm going to end up taking uh, the door out. We're going to open up the wall, make it more like a built-in wardrobe type thing. Um, still trying to noodle that one out, but I'm getting there. Um, and then above her closet, there's just unusable space. Uh, so I'm going to open that up and put some built-in, you know, shelves and things like that. She can put whatever she wants up there. So this is going to be a multi-part uh, series on the remodel. Um, don't know how many videos it's going to be, but we'll get there between the bed and the, you know, and the desk and the corners and the remodel and the, the closet and all that stuff. Um, but it's going to be a fun build. It's going to be super awesome. I know she's going to love it. All right, let's get started. So I went ahead and ripped out all the carpet and the trim and everything. Um, so I've got a few things I want to do, right? So I want to do a new closet. I'm going to build a fold out desk on this wall here. Um, over there, we're going to have the reading nook and then the bed will go over here. Um, so, but I think the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what we're going to do with the closet. Um, this closet is pretty much worthless the way it is. Uh, it's only 23 inches deep. Um, and then if you've got your 12 inch, uh, there was some wire shelves in here. So uh, with the 12 inch wire shelves and then the hanger, it was just barely anything, any room in there. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking I want to do is I'm going to open this all the way up and then just make a built-in closet here, double rack probably, uh, you know, some, maybe some, some uh, shoe things on the bottom. We'll put some drawers under there. Um, yeah. And then once you go up, it's, uh, it's really unusable space. This is the same height as the ceiling, which is nine feet. So what I'm thinking about doing is opening this up up here to uh, just do some built-in bookshelves or built-in shelves for knickknacks or whatever might go up there. Um, on the other side of this wall is a bathroom. Um, luckily it's not the wet wall, uh, the wet wall's on the other side, so that's good. Um, and then over here behind here is, because uh, that closet comes to about here inside there, and then on the other side of this wall is the bathroom and it's like a, a towel rack or something in there. So I can really just take whatever I want out of that if I need to. So I think um, kind of what I'm thinking is, I'm going to end up moving this switch over some just to give us that extra space, uh, you know, even that extra three inches or whatever. And then building the, uh, the desk in here, and I think I might actually just take it and put it into the wall, um, you know, and then so I could have like six inches inside the wall, take out part of that little towel rack thing that's back there, because I've been planning on redoing that bathroom anyways, and, um, you know, doing something different in there. It, it's like 28 inches deep in there. I don't need that much space for towels and toilet paper and stuff. Uh, so I'm probably gonna take some of that out. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go in six inches and actually have the desk built in. So then when it's folded up, you know, it may stick, we might have it stick out an inch or two just to kind of give it some depth and dimension. Um, and it could fold all the way up and then just look like a picture frame or something. So that might be something to look at too. I haven't quite decided yet, uh, you know. Uh, but definitely the closet is going to get opened up. So I'm thinking I might even build some built-in bookshelves over here all the way up to wherever this shelf is going to be up here. Uh, probably at two feet from the ceiling. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be fun. Uh, I, I haven't, I took the door off, but I haven't actually removed the door frame. So I'm hundred percent sure what I want to do since it's already there if I decide to keep it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go. So I think I'm gonna end up taking the drywall out. I'll leave, you know, we'll leave, do a, a three inches for two two by fours over here so I can put a header. I'm not really concerned about this being a load bearing wall. 
um, because there's another wall right behind it and we're gonna put a header up there anyways. So, yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some, some stuff on the wall here to kind of get what it is. I wanna take out as little drywall as possible to save myself some trouble uh, instead of putting up a bunch of new drywall. So, I think what I'm gonna end up doing, because over here, so on this door, I'm not gonna mess with this door. Um, we're gonna do the three and a half inch uh, trim like I've done throughout the rest of the house, just to kind of match it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of draw where that's gonna go for now. Uh, I'm not being super careful, but you know, I want it to be accurate. So, that up there. And I'm not gonna go all the way up because I don't really need to. Uh, let's see. So that's where our trim's gonna be. And then a desk is, uh, what, about 30 inches or so. So the, when a desk is open, the bottom would be at about 30 inches. Is that about right? Yeah. Um, I could get her a taller chair, like a bar stool thing, but I think I'm gonna go just put it at 32 inches here. So that'll be, bottom of that and just draw a line across here I think the desk will be, so we've got to put the switch over here, and let's see, we'll do about, uh, we'll leave it to three inches for the switch, a little bit more, so maybe we'll do like four inches over here, will be the start of the desk, and then that'll be, 36 inches, I think I'm gonna do 36 inches wide. Yeah, that'll work. So, mark this at uh, 36 inches right here. All right. So, let's see. desk thing and then if I go from this wall so yeah, that gives me five feet from that corner to here um, I guess I don't really need to do the bookshelves I'll probably need to keep the closet as wide open as possible so yeah so I think what I'll do is I'll go we'll match it so it'll look even so four inches on that side and then, uh, find my pencil, there it is. All right, and then I think I'll go four inches over here, and right there, and that'll be the edge of the uh, trim for the closet. Let's see, and then we'll go the three and a half inches over here, and that'll be where the closet is opened up. All right, so. Here. Well, these days I'll get a six foot. And this works fine. All right. Yeah. I think that'll work. Cool. So we'll get that going, and then I'm going to go ahead and demo. So I'm going to go ahead and take the drywall all the way from here, this line, all the way to that wall, all the way to the ceiling. Um, on both sides, well, I'm gonna go ahead and rip it all the way out of the closet because I don't really care. But 
That way I can see what the two by fours look like in there. And then we can figure out where we're gonna put the header and um, you know the other, take out what two by fours we need. Cool, all right, let's get started. Let's just make sure there's no, uh, shouldn't be any wires or anything in there, but let's see. Should be all right. Cool, so I'm not too concerned about the drywall on the back side of the closet because I'm gonna change, be making some uh, modifications in here anyways. Um, so, yeah, but that gives me a good start to kind of see what we got behind the wall. Um, so we already got this here, so we'll probably need to put, we'll put one two by four up here all the way, uh, and then we'll do the header here. I'm gonna have to open this up a little bit more uh, so I can put in this side over here. Um, probably open it up to this three and a half inches and then we'll go from there. But yeah, it's gonna be an awesome build. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome when we get done. So cool. All right, so now before I rip out all the uh, two by fours and things, I need to kind of draw up and see what I'm gonna do with the closet um, because I don't wanna rip this out until I'm ready to put the header in, you know, how tall I'm gonna make some stuff, <clears throat> how I'm gonna build the shelves in the back. I mean, this is 23 inches here. I don't really think I need to go that deep with those. So maybe on the bathroom side, you know, we can build something up there. We'll have some shelves or something. Um, you know, come in here, I don't know, you know, 16 inches or so. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah. So that, I think that'll do it for this one. Uh, and the next one we'll get designed, we'll get the closet designed, uh, and then we'll start building out the closet. We'll get it framed up, and then we'll go out into the shop and we'll actually build in the built-ins that are gonna go in there. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many videos we're gonna end up with on this, uh, on this little series here. Got a lot of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, if you wanna you know, get notifications of when the next video for this series or whatever comes out, uh, you know, uh, hit that uh, bell button. You, please, if you like the video, if you found it helpful, found it interesting, whatever, uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you wanna subscribe to the channel, then you'll get notifications when I put new videos out. All right guys, well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.